In Clay County, we've now learned several people have been arrested after a fight at the Orange Park Mall. Videos of that fight yesterday have since gone viral, and many of you have called our newsroom looking for more information. We now know five people, including four teens, were arrested there. Channel 4 Scott Johnson walks us through it, speaking with stunned shoppers. The scene is chaotic, to say the least, as the group of what appear to be mostly teenage girls brawl, and the fight continues for many minutes before it finally disperses. I showed this video to some shoppers in Orange Park, outraged that it could happen locally. What do you think of that happening in the middle of the mall like that? That's, that's not right. They, they need more security out there. They, they need a lot more out there for them to turn. It's just, it ain't, it ain't. It ain't, it's, it's, it's the way they're growing up and what they see. That's the way things are. People aren't comfortable anymore. You don't have any family life. So. Is that, would that be scary for shoppers, knowing they're just walking through the mall and stuff like that breaks out? Yep, I'm sure. That's why I don't go there. I also talked to news for Jack's crime analyst Gil Smith about this because sadly this type of fight is a trend that has been happening across the country, often in malls. Gil says these fights are often organized beforehand on social media. He says many times the young people involved usually wouldn't be in trouble but join fights like these. And he says if you're out shopping or a store owner, it's best to never get involved because the crowds are so big they can overwhelm anybody. Let police handle it. It's best not to try to intervene to break it up because not only the people that you're trying to stop fighting, but the people around them may turn on you also because they don't want it to end. And you could have a large number of kids attacking just that one or two of people who are trying to break it up. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. As we said, five people have been arrested. None of their names have been released. Their charges range from a resisting arrest to battery on law enforcement and trespassing. No injuries were reported.